in Wisconsin, we've prided ourselves not just on the quality of the products we make, uh, like ships, engines, beer, and batteries, um, but also the quality of the jobs themselves, um, which often pay good wages and uh, offer generous benefits, and that we're hard won through collective bargaining. However, I'm disturbed by a trend that I'm seeing. This trend is illustrated by two battery production facilities in Fenimore and Portage, Wisconsin. The facilities are now owned by Energizer after the company acquired them in a 2018 merger with Spectrum that consolidated the battery market. The 600 workers at these facilities are Teamsters. Um, they are uh, President O'Brien's uh, Teamster members. In October, uh, Energizer requested that the Department of Energy use funding from the infrastructure law to support R&D into micro batteries so that American companies like Energizer can maintain a leadership position in battery manufacturing against foreign rivals in China. Just a few weeks later, Energizer notified the Teamsters at the two Wisconsin facilities of its plans to move these jobs to non-union facilities in the U.S. and foreign facilities in Asia. It seems to me that when seeking support from the government, these billion-dollar corporations talk up their American facilities and workers. All the while, some of these corporations, like Energizer, are making plans to move a union facility to a non-union state or a foreign country.